Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas, and you're cooking with Green Power Science. We're standing next to a giant Fresnel lens invented by French physicist Augustine Jean Fresnel. And in honor of the Frenchman's wonderful achievements, we're going to be cooking you popcorn. Anytime you use a Fresnel lens, you want to use these protective eyewear. These are going to protect your eyes from the really bright light that's going to be bouncing around. We're going to be taking this lens and bouncing it off of a mirror into the bottom of our popcorn. Won't that Fresnel lens hurt the mirror? Actually, we have the focal length set short here. If it was set precisely at the mirror, then yeah, I'd shatter it in just a second. So what we're doing is we're going to be bouncing the light short of the focal length, coming up to right about here, you wow. can see that where the beam is. That's where we're going to put the popcorn. We're doing that because we want this on the bottom of the popcorn, and you can't really cook this upside down. No, I'm sure somebody has tried that before. I'm sure they have, but it probably wouldn't work very well. So, okay, here we go. Let's do it. Now, if I, I've got this way <laughs> off of the focal length because if I do it real tight, it'll burn a hole right in the bottom of this thin aluminum. You could hear the sizzling. Wow. I didn't think it was going to go that quick. You doing it? It's sizzling. Oh, shoot. Wow. I think we're going to have popcorn, guys, real soon. Almost burned a hole in the bottom. That's what I was wondering, because it, it seems like it's just a little too intense. What we're trying to do is prevent too much in that one area, otherwise we burn a hole, right? Yeah, and then we'd have oil everywhere, so. Yeah. Come on, I want to see it. Trying to get some nice balanced light on Go this. Go on the other side, too. Hey, oh, I see what you're doing. Or it looks like the bottom is burning. I was expecting it to go a little bit faster. Well, Especially with the amount of heat. I mean, it, it, it is really intense on the bottom. You're definitely getting enough. I mean, I, I could zap I, a hole right through this if I wanted to, but... I, I, I'm actually thinking that you're burying it now. <laughs> Come on! I want some popcorn now. Hurry it up. Everything's in place. It, it's, it, the heat is mo it's just intense. Yeah. What's amazing is it looks like it's a very nice balanced heat on the bottom, like it would be on an, on an oven. Okay, wait. Chicken soup. Uh oh, we got a hole in there the bottom. There you go. I had a feeling. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Right. I think that's it. That's it. Well, we're going to stop <laughs> short there. Because, oh, my uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Things have gone kind of crazy, so we're going to see what happens. <laughs> oh, see how well... I think it burned. All right. Wow. Oh, my God. Don't burn yourself. Ah. Uh, yeah, you burned it. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, but... The heat that it generated was just. Ooh. Ow. Well, let's see. It's okay. <laughs> um, the smell is. <laughs> we're gonna try this one more time. Yeah. Go get another one. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Nah. Yuck. Attempt number two. Is there 
already hear the sizzle already. <laughs> they smell something good. Yep. All right. Let's see what we can do here. What are you doing differently, Dan? Well, I'm holding it further away because... Right. The directions say three to four minutes. So let's just see with the... Uh, keep track on your watch. Producing an, a, just an extraordinary amount of heat. There you go. I think that's it. There's still a few more. Think so? Yeah, it's starting to smell like it's burning. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's done. I do. Comes a big cloud. All right. We're gonna stop this a little short. That's amazing, the amount of uh, heat. How many minutes do you think? Probably three or four or five. five yeah. All right, we're gonna see how this tastes. Well. That's better. Still a little uh, good. Well, that's better. Maybe we need better popcorn. Although it seems very fun doing well, this. The point that we want to show you is that by bouncing a Fresnel lens off of a mirror like this, you can actually cook the bottom of a pan. And this is important. You can set a stand up with this type of setup and just put your food over it and cook like you normally would as if you were using a stove. It's good. It it's is little, very It's good. a little overdone, but it, I mean, the, the concept is there. You want to be careful because you want to make sure you don't look this way because it'll burn your eyes out right away. And always use these. Um, other than that, it's pretty much the same cooking stuff that you normally deal with, hot stuff. So we're gonna be showing you in future videos, Denise is gonna be making you some great Italian food. All right, so the popcorn, well, it didn't work out very well. You probably would wanna use like a black cast iron pan to protect the bottom because that aluminum on there is just way too thin. But we do have some nice chips and guacamole so we're gonna eat this instead enjoy our videos better huh mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, way better than popcorn